Many family and friends and even fellow viewers throw me this question. Should I buy an empty land or should I purchase an existing property and renovate it? Can I achieve my dream home with an existing building structure and its limitation? Today's episode on Design Seed, we will be sharing an existing bungalow transformation that initially looks like this and with the impact of architecture and design, the final outcome turned out like this. If you're a fan of architecture and interior design, slam on that subscribe button and keep that notification buzzer on to stay in the loop of more of our compelling design episodes. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We have our behind the scenes and occasional sharing of design tips posted there. Now, let's check out the Plopman House. If you think just doing some extension works to a house, repainting the house and just throwing in some fancy furniture is called design, you have really got to subscribe to our channel. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seed. In today's episode, we will be sharing in-depth details about a modern architecture transformation and the complex process of how architecture and design could impact your renovation. From the front facade, it subtly blends within the landscape as a single-storey humble home, only to be astounded by its white scenic beauty the moment you enter the property. Every detail of the renovation has a thoughtful purpose. Nothing should be built just because it's aesthetically pleasing. We have Mr. Razin Mahmoud, architect and founder of Razin Architects, to share his thoughtful process of the remodeling of the Plotman House. When we first approached to, to renovate this house, we found that the existing design was not actually taking advantage of the surrounding greeneries. Uh, the house was not made to face any direction. It's not facing the front and it's not facing the slope at the back either. So we saw an opportunity for us to actually open up uh, the back side, which is facing the east, and we could introduce uh, a swimming pool with infinity effect. So uh, we suggested that to the client, and we made you know serious attempt to make sure that the house is enlarged and taking advantage of the uh, views that we created at the back. And at the same time, we took the opportunity to actually encourage uh, natural ventilation throughout the house, the entire house in fact. The, the site that was given to us was already a sloping site. And the existing house that was built, uh, the entrance was only from the street level, straight into the master bedroom level. So we feel that there is a need to create a secondary entrance which will take you down directly to the living room or the entertainment level. So we created an external staircase uh, to take you down to the uh, entertaining level which is actually the dining and dry kitchen area. You know, it's, it's kind of a surprise. that It looks like a single story building from the roadside but in actual fact, it is a two-story building that goes down into the lower area. It was always my dream to have a house that opens up to an infinity pool. I'm a yoga enthusiast, and when I work out, I like to be closely connected to nature. Being around trees, the sound of flowing waters, Breathing in fresh air, it is the sensation that keeps my mind and soul calm and focused. When you design something, you need to satisfy your senses. Uh, it's not just about providing walls, 
creating four walls in a, in a space and to define your space. When you enter a room, when you enter a specific space, you want to create that experience, the new experience. It's, it's what you see, it's what you hear, you know. So we created that pond on one side as a greeting element. If you enter directly from the top through the external staircase, you don't directly go into that room. There, there is a transition space, which is the bridge on top of the water pond, a koi pond that we created. And then you see this, the sound, you hear the sound of water trickling down the pots they will put in the middle of the pond. And then uh, that pond also helps to actually cool down the temperature of the air that flows into the space because you have to flow above the water which is much cooler. At the uh, dining and dry kitchen area is where the family gathers or even when there are guests uh, who come into the house, friends of the owners, that is the main entertainment space. So with opening on both sides, uh, one side is the entrance and the other side opens directly to the courtyard and even a veranda that overlooks the, the pool. So in a way that creates an overspill space of activities. You don't get this crowded feeling inside that space because you, when you open up, it's like a space with no walls and you hear the sound of the water on one side and you hear the sound of the pool or people swimming in the pool on the other side. Plotman House is a fascinating project, an architecture that feeds the international outlook, yet being able to take advantage of connecting to the tropics with the core values of being minimalist. Understanding the advantages of the project location and surrounding could be beneficial to complement your quality of lifestyle. After all, the point of getting a landed property is to be able to connect to the extra space. It doesn't make sense to live in a bungalow and not optimizing the spaces to be usable. Why did I put the pool at the edge of the slope? Because I wanted to create that infinity effect. Uh, you know, the house is elevated. The slope goes down to probably another six meters down. So we put the pool right at the edge of the slope. And part of the wall is used as a retaining structure to make sure that there's no erosion on, on the house part. And when we move the pool further towards the slope, then we create this activity area like gathering space maybe you can have party there you can take out your barbecue uh, machine or whatever and have a party there so creating that overspill space actually is also very important so that you are not stuck with you know pull deck immediately after your dining space We look at bathroom as well. Bathrooms are conventionally an enclosed space, very private. Uh, probably minimum uh, window openings to give you that privacy or whatever. But we think uh, we want to change that. We think bathroom should be, you know, a room with a view. So wherever possible, we try to create uh, big openings so that we get lots of light in, lots of natural ventilation inside the bathroom. And my favorite would be the master bathroom where we put uh, a freestanding bathtub right next to the pivoted windows uh, with view towards the skyline of a city nearby. That was actually quite uh, satisfying 
करते हैं तो सम अपलावन हाउस इन चूवर्स इट्स ट्रॉपिकल मिनिमलिस ऐसे This project is an exemplary model that presents form and function at its best. Minimalist yet influential with simple basic architecture and design values. If you enjoyed this episode, do subscribe to us and click on that notification bell and stay in the loop of more of our compelling design and architecture related contents. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seat. Thank you for watching.